we're, we're often asked how does a, our glucose sensor measure the glucose concentrations in someone with diabetes and what I want to do is talk a little bit about how that happens. So the, the sensor itself is a small flexible probe that's placed just underneath the skin of a person with diabetes and, and it's in the interstitial space. So there's fluid uh, that surrounds the sensor and in that fluid is the person's glucose concentration and so uh, the sensor ha is an electroenzymatic sensor and what that means is there's a, a chemistry, there's an enzyme glucose oxidase that's on the sensor tip which reacts in the presence of glucose and creates a signal uh, that we can measure. Uh, there's actually a number of layers to the sensing process and the first step the glucose gets to the enzyme layer of glucose oxidase and breaks down uh, the glucose to create hydrogen peroxide uh, and, and other elements. And we're concerned about the hydrogen peroxide that's created in that reaction. That hydrogen peroxide then diffuses to a base metal layer of the sensor where it's oxidized. And what oxidation means is that it's broken down into hydrogen, oxygen, and electrons, which we measure as a current. So essentially, what we're doing is glucose in the person's interstitial space is converted into hydrogen peroxide at the enzyme layer, and then that hydrogen peroxide is broken down at a base metal layer into electrons, which we measure as a current. So we're measuring a current, which is proportional to the person's glucose concentration. So once the glucose sensor is placed underneath the skin of, of the person, it has to be connected to the transmitter device, the Minilink, and uh, that connection process occurs. And once that happens, what, what is done is that the, the sensor is physically connected to the transmitter. Inside this device it, are the electronics that operates the sensor and measures the signal created uh, by detecting glucose in the body. And then there's a transmitting element which transmits the data every five minutes to our pump or the guardian monitor. It's in the pump or guardian monitor that the calibration process takes place. The signals are transmitted from here to that device, but once in the device, that's where a meter value is entered uh, into the system that performs the calibration process. And so the algorithm that converts the signal into glucose is also housed within the pump or the guardian monitor. So, so once the sensor measures a signal which is proportional to the glucose concentration, and again, that's a current, we need to convert that signal into the glucose concentration. And the way we do that is through a process called calibration. And there's an algorithm uh, in the pump system or in our Guardian platform which allows the user to enter a finger stick glucose reading into the device. And then that reading is correlated to the actual signal that the sensor's measured and it converts, therefore, it develops a factor that converts the sensor signal to glucose concentration from that point moving forward so that as the sensor signals change over time, so does the calculated glucose reading that the, that the sensor is providing. Important safety information. Medtronic Diabetes insulin infusion pumps, continuous glucose monitoring systems, and associated components are limited to sale by or on the order of a physician and should only be used under the direction of a healthcare professional familiar with the risk associated with the use of these systems. Successful operation of the insulin infusion pumps and or continuous glucose monitoring systems requires adequate vision and hearing to recognize alerts and alarms. Medtronic Diabetes Insulin Infusion Pumps. Insulin pump therapy is not recommended for individuals who are unable or unwilling to perform a minimum of four blood glucose tests per day. Insulin pumps use rapid acting insulin. If your insulin delivery is interrupted for any reason, you must be prepared to replace the missed insulin immediately. Medtronic Diabetes Continuous Glucose Monitoring Systems. The information provided by CGM Systems is intended to supplement, not replace, blood glucose information obtained using a home glucose meter. A confirmatory finger stick is required prior to treatment. Insertion of a glucose sensor may cause bleeding or irritation at the insertion site. Consult a physician immediately if you experience significant pain or if you suspect that the site is infected. 